get blood from the heart to the arm, blood leaves the left ventricle, passes through the arch of the aorta, on the right side passes through the brachiocephalic trunk to the subclavian artery, on the left side the subclavian comes from the arch of the aorta, and then from the subclavian goes to the axillary. On this model, showing just the right side, blood would go from the left ventricle to the arch of the aorta, to the brachiocephalic trunk, once again only on the right side, to the subclavian artery, to the axillary artery along the armpit, to the brachial artery of the upper arm, and then in the forearm, either the ulnar artery to go to the medial side of the arm, or the radial artery to the lateral side. Although there are multiple routes from the hand back to the heart, one has similar vessels as the first route. So from the ulnar vein on the medial side or the radial vein on the lateral side, blood can travel through the brachial vein, to the axillary vein, to the subclavian vein, into the brachiocephalic vein, to the superior vena cava, to the right atrium. This model would begin with the axillary vein, leading into the subclavian vein, leading into the brachiocephalic vein. Once again, there is one brachiocephalic vein on both the left and the right sides, uh, which then empties into the superior vena cava, into the right atrium.